wire is going to come down. When the N99 fires... Staff Sergeant Jeremy Clark trains off. students on a variety of ejection seat systems. We'll go right back to, to the jellies, the ejection initiators. On this day, he's teaching a small group on the system of an F-16, including two Korean contractors. So it's my job to come in and make sure these guys know what they're doing before they actually get out on operational aircraft and start to work. That includes anything that might impact the correct operations of the seat, a last resort for pilots who are in danger. Start to finish from the time they, from the time the pilot pulls the handle, uh, till the time he's in the chute floating to the ground. Uh, teach him how to maintain daily maintenance tasks, uh, munitions handling, uh, and a lot of safety aspects are incorporated into it as well. Master Sergeant Benjamin Carmona has spent 20 years as an F-16 crew chief and now works for the Defense Contract Management Agency. I'll do uh, a mandatory government audits that uh, we feel are critical tasks that we need to look at and uh, ensure that they are doing the, uh, the task in accordance with uh, directive and manuals. So this class is serving as a refresher for him. There's a fire that's causing that smoke and the pilot has to get out. For the Korean contractors in the so course, all, it also served to reinforce training they've received in the past. Goes to the remover rockets. Canopy's going to fly off. Which is exactly what Sergeant Clark says is the reason for the training. Uh, anybody who would come out and work on a, an ejection system blindly is obviously looking for trouble. Keeping pilots and aircraft safer, one course and maintainer at a time. I'm Air Force Sergeant Melissa Allen, Gunsan Air Base, Korea.